the Taliban announce victory in Sangin district, Afghan troops are fighting desperately to push them back, not just from the strategic town, but other districts in Helmand province. It looked as if things could get better for the Afghan soldiers after supplies were airdropped and additional troops arrived. But it seems this happened too late. Some, however, are still willing to fight. We are ready to defend our country, even if we lose our lives. And when we get the order, we will fight the enemy. Here in Kabul, the acting Afghan defense minister insists the army is still resisting and that the operation is still ongoing. What do you say to British families who've lost relatives in Sangin in particular, who say, the British military have provided support, training, money, they've paid with blood, only for the Afghan army to fail. Both the British and other uh, nations, they have uh, contributed uh, both in their treasure, their blood, and their contribution and sacrifice. That is, uh, uh, that is all, always appreciated by the people of Afghanistan. But at the same time, in only in one year, we took over the responsibility. We were tender spread throughout the country. And we, we, were, uh, we were trying our best to hold all those areas. The latest fighting in Helmand has exposed significant weaknesses, both among the Afghan army and the government, in maintaining a solid grip on security after the withdrawal of NATO forces. And it's in that weakness that the Taliban found a chance to regroup and deal heavy blows to Afghan troops across the country. Many families have fled Sangin to the provincial capital. We left home with the clothes on our backs. Yesterday I returned to go to town. I went to the market and saw Taliban militants there. People are stuck in their homes. In a statement today, the Taliban condemned the British troops for returning to Helmand province to support Afghan forces. They said the British government has broken its promise to the people not to return to the Afghan war. More than 100 British troops were killed in Sangin alone. And as the Taliban continue to tighten their hold on the districts of Helmand province, many will continue to ask why those lives were lost.